now we'll be defining groups for construction stages and boundary definitions. So let's go to tree menu and group tab. Right click on structure group and go to the second option. So here we'll be giving names for our structure groups. So I'm giving CS suffix. I'm adding 0 to 3. So I'll be adding 4 structure groups. Then I close this and then I'll move to boundary group. So for boundary groups, I'm giving the substructure, I'm giving the name sub and adding it. Then for superstructure boundary activations, I'm giving three groups. CS1, 2, 3, then adding it. And then for load definitions, I'm going to load group going to second option. So whatever load will be activated in construction stages, so those loads should be grouped under load groups. So first, we'll be activating self-rate, so I'm giving load group name self-rate, and then superimposed dead load, so I'm giving the name SID here. And then in every stage, so there are going to be three stages in which superstructure is going to be constructed. So in every stage, there are going to be four sets of pre stressings so I'll give the name accordingly, PS1-1 to 4. So all these four load groups will be belonging to first construction stage stressings. Then PS2. So PS21 to 24 are the four sets of stressings for the second stage. And PS3-1 to 4 are the four sets of stressings for the third stage. So... I'll close this. So these are the construction stages. In the first stage, just substructure will be ready. That stage will be named as CS0. Then in the second stage, which will be our first construction stage for superstructure, we'll have the span 1, 40 meters launched with 8 meters of the second span. And then in the second construction stage, 37 meters launched. Finally, in the third construction stage, we'll be completing the construction with the launching of the remaining 32 meters of the third span. So these elements have to be grouped in their respective structure groups. So first we'll be selecting the substructure elements. So I'm selecting substructure nodes and elements. So all these are group it under structure group CS0. So I'll just select the CS0 structure group and drop it over the model window. Then I'll just type over here 11 to 61st element, so all these elements are belonging to construction stage 1, so I'll group them under CS1. Similarly, I'll just type the element numbers for CS2, 62 to 107 and 141. So these are the elements belonging to construction stage 2. So I'm grouping these elements under structure group CS2. Then for the remaining elements, which are 108, to 140 and 142. So these remaining elements I'll be grouping under structure group CS3. So this completes the grouping of nodes and elements.